Welcome back to Liz Sews and the next day of our bra Fenway sew along. So the first thing we're going to do is put in underwire channeling. Now if you've seen one of my previous videos I showed you a plush underwire channeling and this is something that is a little bit different. It's made out of like a nylon sort of ripstop material and this is purchased from Bravo Bello Bras. And essentially what this is is just double fold bias tape that has been sewn together on the side. So if you are running low on underwire channeling, you can certainly make this yourself or you can purchase it, like I said. It has a little bit different feel because it's not plush, but it works in just the same manner. Sorry about that, ran out of battery, but we are back. So we have our um, underwire channeling and you will remember when we made the Marlboro bra, we sewed on the underwire channeling from the inside of the cup and folded it out. Now because this is a partial band bra, you know, there's nothing, there's no band right here, we're actually going to do that in the opposite way. So we're going to take the underwire channeling and we're going to apply it from the from this side of the bra. And what I want to do is I want to butt up the edge of the channeling with this stitching line. And that is why I went ahead and did that quarter of an inch stitching line all the way across the cup because it helps me line this up. So we're going to sew. And then what I like to do is I will move the needle of my machine over so I'm as close as I can get to this edge. So I will show you how that is. So we're going to sew that all the way around. I don't pin this just because I find it's easier to do it by hand. And then this will fold up to the inside and that will give us a nice clean edged finish on the front. Okay. So I take my edge and want to line that up with the stitches that I have at a quarter of an inch. And then I like to line that up with, with this side of my foot right here. Then I'm going to take my needle and move it over two, two in two spots. That just ensures that I'm right up against that. And we'll sew, start sewing it in. I also like to finish off the ends of my um, underwire channeling right now because otherwise I will forget. So you're going to take the end that is on the bridge and I'm just going to go back and forth a couple of times on that. Now we're going to sew the underwire channeling in completely. And the way that you're going to do that, I like to take it from the inside and you want to push the channeling towards the cup. And then just like we did before, it's so, it's so very close to the edge of this underwire channeling. We're going to sew it all the way around to the front. It should look like this once you have finished doing that seaming on the outer edge. And then the last thing you want to do is sew again from the top close to the seam. This is what you should have. I like to stick my underwires in at this point and then use the fold over elastic to sort of seal them in. 
So for this bra, I'm using demi underwires, and that just means that they are shorter in the front. And I find that that tends to work better with this cup, even though the directions don't say to use a demi underwire. So I have these underwires. You'll see that there is a colored bit, and then the other end is not colored, the other tip. Generally, the colored tip is what's gonna go to your center front. I'm going to look at my underwire channeling and I want the colored tip to go in first. You want to make sure you are inside the underwire channeling. You don't want to be like between the channeling and the fabric. You want to be in that channeling itself. So I'll just shove that guy in. You should have what's called a little bit of wire play and that means that like the end of the wire is a cup like a couple millimeters away from the side the end of the fabric and that just allows that wire to sort of like move and float around in there freely so my wire ends about here and that is about right now we are going to put in our top elastic which again is the fold over which we used previously just like we did before I want to do you want the shiny side to face out this time so I want to take the right side of my bra I want to put the fold over elastic underneath of it and line the edge of the fabric up with the center of the fold over elastic we're going to base that in place all the way up in one continuous line to the top here. I'm gonna leave a couple inches extra on this side and that's because these will fold over and this is where the, um, the strap is going to attach to. So be sure to leave about an inch, inch and a half extra on the point of the cup. Okay, so we have that fold over elastic basted in. We left extra up at the point, and it goes all the way to this point over here. So just like we did with the other side of the cup, we're going to fold this over and sew it with a zigzag stitch, one millimeter long and one and a half millimeters wide. And you wanna start sewing all the way up here even on the end that isn't attached to a bra. Okay. Okay, so now this is what you should have. You should have the end that extends up here. This is where the strap is going to attach. It comes all the way across. It covers up the end of your underwire channeling all the way to this point down here. The last thing we're going to do today is insert the last, the on fold over elastic on this curve as well. But before we do that, we want to check to make sure that this will fit our hook and eye. Now I'm not using the hook and eye width that this pattern recommends, so I will have to alter mine slightly. And all you need to do is place your hook and eye on there. Give yourself a little mark where that ends. And then you just want to cut into this fabric, grading it into that scoop so it ends at the same spot. We're going to do the same to the other side as well, but I just want to double check that this looks like it will still fit. Looks like it's a little wide still. So now we want to do, just like we have been doing, we're going to take our fold over elastic on the right side of the bra. We want to put the fold over elastic underneath of it. We're going to baste it in and then zigzag. This time you want to leave an inch or so on, on to this point. Again, that is where we are going to attach the strap. Leave about an inch over here. 
Okay, so once you've finished with that, you should have something that looks like this. We've got fold over elastic on all of the top edges, pico elastic along the bottom. We have our nice cups. We are so close to being done with this bra. So we'll come back tomorrow and we will put the finishing touches on, just doing a hook and eye and straps, and then you can get to wearing this baby.